there is a heavy log. I'm going to try to move it up this hill. Yeah. I think this is the first time we'll actually have enough pulley blocks and we might actually run out of rope. We will see. I actually had this idea yesterday. So this is what I'm thinking. Imagine this America rope is binded at both ends, right? And these three pulleys are sitting on top of the rope. Now each one of these pulleys hook down to the log right here. And hypothetically, if we if we make this America rope tight enough or secure enough, we could hang this log from it on these three pulleys, kind of slide it along. Now, problem, the America rope isn't long enough to actually get from this tree to an anchor tree up there, because you need anchors on each end. But it might work that we can move it in segments, so we could move it from this tree to that tree, or this tree, or that tree up there, and then set the log down, untie the America rope, pull it through the blocks, and tie it to new anchors, and inch it from tree to tree. That'd be really cool, I hope that works. It might not. We will see. So it's high noon, and just check out the solar panel alignment, so, looks like that is almost perfect. Look how high the sun is in their angle. Hell yeah. Quick fun history lesson. The main support for this structure, the one in the very back right there, is the shortest and lightest, not the shortest, but the lightest segment from this tree that I'm trying to move right here. This was the middle segment, and that's the tail segment. You can see I chopped that up into boards using wedges and sledges before. Kind of worked, actually. I, I gave up after two weeks, because apparently yeah, it's it's really hard and cold and rotten in the winter, but uh, this is the middle segment, and I want to turn it into firewood because it's a little heavy for beam, especially for the roof. So maybe I'll split it. Who knows? But yeah, and I just want to prove a concept. I just had this idea about lofting it from the ropes. It'd be so cool. Let's see what happens. So believe it or not, this kind of is working. Because what we're really doing here is just getting rid of that friction with the ground. Because now I can move it just by hand. Check that out. actually moving <laughs> that's crazy this is for instance this hill is so steep I mean you can't really stand on it for too long because the dirt just falls away so hell yeah but just for the record it started right here at this tree and I've gotten to here so far Let's see how far I get it So the day grows long, but this is working. I just have to keep moving the crane trees over and then tightening, sliding, and tightening. Um, it's quite doable. You can see I've moved it from all the way down there up to there. This is, uh, <laughs> I can't move it by hand, so that's, uh, that's something. But yeah, I think it's heavy. Anyways, hopefully I come back and get it up the hill. That'd be freaking awesome. <sighs> well, 
proof of concept. Suspension rope style works. I mean, I at least moved it up 20 feet of elevation. Something just popped. And the log wanted to go free. I got it and hit the axe. And I guess... Yeah, it looks like the green rope. The green rope was the weaker one in the American rope. In our winch system. That was cool though. It just popped and like tumbled down the hill. Fudge.